this label is on a girl's dressing gown. And in this video, I will demonstrate why certain fabrics is not suitable for animal or children's clothes. Whether buying clothes or fabric, read the label mates, they are there for a reason. If you have to think quick of three different things which can burn, it will possibly be paper, also known as cellulose fiber, hair, known as protein fiber, and plastic, known as synthetic fiber. This is a good way to remember how to group the fabric as well. It is grouped this way because of its reaction to a flame, the color of the smoke, and the odor it releases whilst burning. Natural fabrics is the best to wear, but also much more pricey. Because of their distinctive characteristics, scientists has been able to develop beautiful fabrics when using different combinations of fabric fibers. That is how we get raincoats, active wear, swimwear, protective wear and so on. So when buying the fabric or clothes, think of the purpose you would use it for. Would it be worn close to a campfire or possibly close to a gas cooktop or maybe a heater? Think of the person or animal who can't think for themselves. When a baby experiences discomfort, a reason could be because of the clothes they wear. Or some labels and zip fasteners might cause the irritation. Here are samples of fabric with different fiber combinations. Look what the fabric does when approaching a flame. The color of the smoke and how it reacts. The polyester fabric sample. The plastic-like or polyester sample catch fire very easy and can fuse to the skin. It burns quite fast and continues to burn and melt with a black smoke. There's also bits floating in the air which can obstruct airways when inhaled. It turns into a hard bead and has a sweet odor. Polyester mixed with synthetic wadding. Cotton mixed with synthetic wadding. You can see the cotton has a different reaction and doesn't catch fire that easy. Look how the wadding melted into beads and is still burning. This is an iron-on synthetic wadding which has glue spots on it. This is a polyester cotton quilt which is different from the cotton quilt in sample 3. The paper-like or flannel sample, which is a piled cotton, does not shrink or fuse from the flame, but burns in the flame and continues to burn with an afterglow when removed from the flame. This is dangerous and can reignite. It smells like burning paper and releases a grey smoke. <gasps> See how it is still burning? 
The hair-like or wool blend sample takes a while to catch fire. It curls away from the flame, burns slowly and is usually self-extinguishing unless mixed with other fibers as in this case. It smells like burning hair or meat and releases a grey smoke. This is 100% cotton wadding or batting. It doesn't burn with a flame but is rather smoldering which means burning without a flame and releases a dark grey smoke. This is also cotton material and also takes a while to catch fire. It burns with a flame and smells like burning paper, as is the same with the yellow sample. 